It was a weekend of firsts in round one of the 2022 K-League season. Lee Sung-woo made his first appearance in K-League, coming off the bench for Suwon FC in the 1-0 defeat to John Buk Hyundai Motors, the season's official curtain raiser. The game was billed as the Barca Youth Derby with Pek Sung-ho of John Buk taking on his former La Masia teammate Lee, but the two were only on the pitch for one half. Suwon FC manager Kim Do-kyun admitted afterwards that had Lee sung been fit enough, he might have started the game. Elsewhere on Saturday, Intrang United picked up a first win on opening weekend in 12 years. Lee Young Jae making his K-League debut came off the bench to cross for Stefan Magosa who powered a header home in the 92nd minute to seal a 1-0 win over Suwon Blue Wings. On Sunday, Kim Young Gwon made his first K-League appearance as Ulsan Hyundai drew nil-nil with Kim Chon Sangmu. Kim admitted afterwards that it was strange to hear Korean voices in the stands, having spent much of his 11-year career abroad in China and Japan. And there was a first goal for Dino Islamovic in Gangwon FC's 2-0 win over Songnam FC. In K-League 2, Gimpo FC picked up their first K-League win in what was their first ever K-League match. Last year's K3 champion champions overcame Gwangju FC 2-1 away from home with goals from Son Sok Yong and Kim Jong Sok both scoring at Kaylee level for the very first time. Seoul Elan's Argentinian striker Felipe Cadenesi bagged his first goal in Korea too, scoring just a minute after coming off the bench. It was a first opening day win for Seoul Elan since the year they were founded in 2015. The new K-League season kicked off in mid-February for the first time, an earliest ever start to a new campaign. The Winter World Cup, as well as the ACL break in spring, meant that the new season had to begin two or three weeks earlier than normal. Paul Neat, K-League United.